Oh, Jan already? He gads. Hello! <laughs> We're rolling. First of all, shy gads! <laughs> okay, there I was in the Philippines, Manila to be precise. I was enter I was going to Thailand, back to Thailand, to the capital, to uh, to live to live my adventures. When at 12 o'clock, it was around 11 o'clock on a Friday night, there was some drunken Filipinos at the corner, and the guy kept say, kept trying to uh, hail a cab, and I said, no, I don't need that, I don't need that, and he kept coming up, hail, trying to hail it, trying to hail it, and I said, no, I can hail the cab myself. He finally held the cab, and then he wanted money from me, Andy Milford, of all things. He demanded pesos, and I said, no, I don't have, I gave him 20, and I said, to all I got, I have no more. He was not, he was undeterred. He went right into my face, <laughs> right into my face. And he, he said, give me more money. And I said, no, get out of here, because I would already enough. So then, so then, Andy Milford, this was the kicker. I finally get rid of him. He's drunk, and apparently he tells his two boys, I go into the taxi cab, he tells his two friends, murderous thieves that they were, to go over there and pickpocket me in the cab. So they came in, they put their pocket hands right in my pockets. I immediately phew, elbowed one in the throat, kicked the other in the uh, underlines. <laughs> Knocked him out, then threatened the cab driver with the choking, with the chokehold, saying, "You'll be next. <laughs> You'll be next. If you know what's good for you, keep moving." And we drove to the airport, and all was good. Thank you, Andy Wilford. <laughs>